How's it going, everybody? So, my Soylent month uh, was a disaster. What I've discovered is, whatever they did to their recipe, originally when I first used Soylent was back in something like 2014, with the original powder formulation of it that you had to mix yourself with water yourself and shake it up yourself. And that seemed to be very good for my blood sugar. It seemed to balance it really well, and I don't know what the difference is in the ingredients between now and back then. And, I mean, Soylent now is much more difficult to maintain a level blood sugar. I had spikes, I had drops, and it didn't matter how long I spaced out drinking a single bottle, it was impossible to maintain a healthy blood sugar. As a result, I stopped my month of Soylent. It wasn't safe for me, it wasn't something that I can recommend for any diabetics, especially type 2 diabetics. I cannot recommend Soylent as a product anymore, and that's a little heartbreaking. I originally loved Soylent. I thought it was a great product back in the day. Whatever they're doing now, it's not safe for diabetics. I mean, at least in my records, in my history, I had spikes going up to 400, I had spikes, I had drops as low as 70, and I didn't, I couldn't figure out why the spikes were happening. I could drink a bottle of Soylent over four hours and get a crazy spike, or I could drink it all in an hour and get a crazy spike as well, or it wouldn't happen the next day. I, I didn't know what was going on, and I was very careful about tracking my other foods and everything else that I had for dinners. It was not the other food. It was being, I was being very careful about it. The spikes were only coming an hour or two after drinking Soylent. It had to have been that. So I can't recommend Soylent as a product for diabetics, unfortunately. Okay. That being said, a couple of big updates. The first big update, the first big update, as you can see, I've moved. So we have a new office for me. You can see. Yay. The cat is very excited as well. Aren't you? So that's a fun update. Uh, the second part is I have a month planned for May, which is really going to be something unique for me. I'm going to do a full month with no sweeteners. If there's sugar that's already a base ingredient in a product, uh, I'm not going to try to, you know, there's no way to extract that. So I'm just going to leave that as is. I'm not adding sugar to anything. I'm not adding any sorts of natural or artificial sweeteners. So no aspartame, no Splenda, no erythritol, no xylitol, no monk fruit, and no stevia. Which means if a product has any of those ingredients, whether it be a flavored water, a Mio, a soda of some sort, whether it's a dessert that's a low carb dessert, whatever they are, I will not be eating it. I wanna see what happens on a month without using any sweeteners in my in my in my food my wife's been very big on me about this pushing about this because she's convinced that sucralose and aspartame and other things not just minorly affect blood sugar but she thinks it makes a very big difference in blood sugar i'm gonna see we're gonna take all of those out and Maybe we can be a little bit more scientific of it once May is over. Maybe in June I'll start reintroducing the different sweeteners and see which one actually does affect my blood sugar, and I can let you guys know that. But for the entire month of May, no sweeteners. <laughs> I'm going to go insane. I'm already regretting this, uh, and I haven't even started. <laughs> I am a big, big fan of mints. And I don't know if I don't think I've ever mentioned this to you guys, but back in 2010 and earlier, I was a smoker, and a big part of getting rid of cigarettes was mints. That was a great alternative, and I've you know phased into the more low carb, low calorie mints as time went on because I had to. So a lot of what I snack on during the day, just because I don't want to eat food between meals if I can help it, has been one or two mints at a time. 
that's going to be an issue now because I'm going to lose my normal um, coping mechanism. I'm going to have to come up with something else. Coffee? It'll be just straight coffee with a, maybe a little bit of half and half. I can't add any sort of sugar or any sort of like the... Uh, I'm a big fan of like the Nestle's French, the no sugar French vanillas, those sort of things. That's all going out the window. So we're going to see, number one, just how crazy I get. And number two, we're going to see just how much artificial sweeteners affect your blood sugar. I'll talk to you guys in May. Uh, this, this update should be near the end of April, so I'm hoping that by the time May starts, I've got a few days built up as a buffer so you guys can see what the plan is. And I will talk to you guys later. You all take care. Be sure it's true when you say I love you.